Hey guys, it's Darren with Haas Factory Outlet, Champions Machine Tool in Houston, Texas. We're going to talk a little bit about using your tool setter to teach tool offsets as compared to not using your tool setter or what you would do if you did not have a tool setter. Um, the most important thing that I want to talk about first is sitting in your settings page. So if we go to the settings page and we go to our main settings portion here and go to setting number 64. Now, I could either search for that by typing in the number 64 and pressing the F1 button to search for that. You can also word search for settings as well, just by typing in a couple letters of a word that exists in that setting. We're looking at setting 64, tool offset measure uses work. If I'm teaching a tool using the tool probe, I'm always going to want setting 64 to be turned off. And the reason why is when you use the tool setter, the tool setter becomes the master location for all of your tools. You do not want to use your work offset in reference to the, the, the number that's going to pop up from the probe. So just remember setting 64 always turned off when you're using your tool setter. We're going to talk now about teaching tools without the tool setter. So <clears throat> the numbers, the number references are going to change just a little bit if you don't have a tool setter. But most importantly, we're gonna go straight to our settings page and we're gonna talk about setting number 64. Tool offset measure uses work. When you do not have a tool setter, you absolutely must have setting 64 turned to the on position. So what this means is when we set a tool offset, do we wanna use our work shift as a reference or not? You, out, you absolutely have to use a work offset as a reference when you don't have a tool setter. When you do have a tool setter, that should be changed off because everything is in relation to that tool setter.